if you're a creative person, which a lot of us are, but you have to get back in touch with that. I was just out of, out of touch. I was just working my job. And I was like painting and drawing and stuff like that, but I was just trying to find out like which way spoke to me the most. You know, if you don't use it, you lose it. And that's a harsh reality. My name is Emmanuel Edwards. I am the owner, curator of the Goody Vault, where I specialize in vintage clothing from the 1920s to the 90s. I wake up, I say a quick prayer. I should be drinking my water first thing, but I don't sometimes. I get on the sewing machine, answer messages, curate for events, send out packages if I have to, and I network. I gotta follow up with people that I wanna work with. Man, so many influences, so many people. But I think at the core, my dad, he influenced me a lot, man because he worked in the office doing drafting, but he would occasionally go out. Like, I remember he was telling me how some of them would get like uh, snow that would be all over the tracks and stuff. So they would have to help different things. Just the work ethic of people pushing through, especially people of color, black people pushing through those type of conditions and making a living. I like saying like the wear of the clothing, the paint stain, the blood, whatever it is, it's like a story locked in the fibers. This is not just about selling stuff. People are going through real things, real situations, real feelings, and sometimes that interaction is the only interaction they're getting with somebody for that day. That's pretty heavy when you think about it. And I don't always hit the mark, but I'm trying to be like, you know, attentive and kind of catch the vibe and see where people are at. But it's, it's beautiful when people, you can make a relationship with people and they really want to like continue to support and be connected to you, you know? So I just try to keep that in mind that you know, I want to make you know real, real connections with people. One of my good friends, we always talk about like having a soul. You know, if you got a soul with your work, you're good. Now you just gotta tell the story. You don't, you don't want people to be like, "What is this crap?" You know what I mean? You like, I worked hard at that. You know what I mean?